It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was in my local B&M Baggins recently and I picked up this. Stormtrooper Situation Normal India Pale Ale. It's coming in at 4.4% ABV. I had to do a lot of digging, gotta be honest. Well, not so much a lot of digging, but it just was a case of scanning the barcode on the untapped app. And I was, I was able to find out who brewed this beer or who contract brewed this beer because there's nothing, literally nothing on the side of this can. It's just brewed and canned at Country, Country Business Park, New Road in Hebden Bridge, which of course is Vocation. Vocation Brewery or Brewing Company brewed this beer. But I found that from... Yeah, I... I, I Got it into untapped and ooh. that was the reason how I found it untapped. Right, a um, bit of a spillage on the opening. It was one pound fifty for the can. I'm like my Star Wars stuff so I, I thought this could be quite interesting we got a one finger white head uh, hazy straw coloured beer with sediment you can see there let's bring it back in slowly see the sediment there in the bottom of the glass thirsty today it's really quite warm I mean it's, it's, it's like 9 30 in the morning and it's already like 20 22 degrees it feels like out there so I'm looking forward to this one let's get the aroma whoa it smells good orange peel grapefruit Passion fruit, mango. This would make a real change. Normally, I've, I've had a few Star Wars beers over the years, and they've all been rubbish. All been well. No, I had a, had a really good Australian one a couple of years back, but the rest were, were like terrible. But this smells quite promising. Let's let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It's quite refreshing, quite nice for the early morning beer. Very drinkable, very refreshing. The water quality on the beer is just superb. The drinkability of the beer is just absolutely wonderful. And it's, it's layers of flavour. There's so much going on. Carbonation, lovely. The drinkability of the beer is really good. You're getting mango, peach, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange flavours coming through. And then on the back end, you're picking up a nice amount of bitterness that just keeps slowly rolling on your palate. Vocation have always brewed pretty decent beers. So when I seen that they brewed this, I was quite quietly confident that they'd they they'd pulled something out the bag here and finally we have a, a pretty decent Star Wars beer in the UK.
I like the sweet malt to begin with as well, that balance between sweetness and bitterness on the back end. It's a nicely balanced beer. It's quite light kind of cracker bread flavours coming through on the palate. And then that leads then over to that lovely bitterness. So you've got the sweetness to begin with, bitterness on the back end, a lovely, lovely balance to the beer. I'm actually kind of, it's just one of those situations where I'm actually kind of flying this down. This is making its way down nice and quickly. And I think that's just the weather. It's just the weather and of course how nice and drinkable it is. I'm not I'm not sure how long this beer will be in B and M bargains. Um we got a few bits and pieces on the side of the can. See the stars and get paid for doing it. Um enlist today. Uh situation normal, India Pale Ale, uh guaranteed to hit the mark. Uh join the corpse, taste the galaxy. Original Stormtrooper. So this has definitely been brewed for for your Star Wars fan out there. I'm a Star Wars fan. Who doesn't like Star Wars? They bring out a new movie now. Now it's owned by Disney. You're guaranteed to have like a side episode once a year. And then you're guaranteed to have like a main story um, movie every, every two years. Uh, my idea for a new movie would be like... If they came across, like, you know, like Aliens versus Predator. You know, where they came across a, a strange planet and they landed and it was full of aliens. It would be nice to see Darth Vader, you know, with his lightsaber. Fighting off the, the, the alien horde or, or indeed Predator. How interesting would that be? Um, you know, where they had to come together, good and evil, to fight off um, the, 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 the aliens and the predators. How, how amazing would that be? What an idea that would be for, for the Star Wars franchise. I mean, nothing's out of the realm now, is it, with Disney? But I suppose it is because it's very fam family friendly, isn't it, Disney? You wouldn't see the blood and guts and gore of an alien movie uh, made by Walt Disney. Right, <clears throat> description. Uh, all the hoppy goodness of an IPA, but brewed to a sessionable strength, made with generous amounts of U.S. West Coast hops. Uh, it's a full-bodied and fruity beer with flavours and aromas of passion fruit, gooseberry, grapefruit and mango. Right, let's rate it. It's quite nice. It's quite nice for the price, £1.50. I remember there aimlessly walking around B&M bargains as you do on a Saturday morning you know you're being dragged round there by the other half and um, I, I went down the beer aisle and I was pleasantly surprised when I come across this I picked a few of these up um, but rating for the beer yeah £1.50 can't really go wrong plenty of taste there's no off flavours 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up Boom! Cheers!